Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is a first look at OS X El Capitan. Now this is an update similar to previous updates where they did Leopard and Snow Leopard, or Lion and Mountain Lion. This would be the Mountain Lion to Lion, or in this case Yosemite and then El Capitan. This is a place within Yosemite, and so this is basically a revised version where they're not doing such a huge feature update, but instead they're doing a stability and really refining OS 10. So what we have here is what looks very similar to OS 10 Yosemite and they've added a few added a few very simple features. One of the features they have is split view. Now here we have all of our different windows and we have mission control. So if we use the trackpad and we throw three fingers up, you'll see this thing pop down from the top and shows all the different apps that are open. And if I swipe up again, it comes back and goes away. But if I open all these different windows up, let's open all these different things and then swipe up, it splits everything up very nicely and shows you everything here. Now the computer might be a little bit choppy because I'm screen recording at the same time, but you get the idea. So here you can see all of these different windows and that's pretty much it. Now if we want to do split view, what we can do is say we want to see this and instead of doing full screen we can click and hold and then we can say maybe I want to snap this to the left and then uh, I'll bring up the app store on the right and you can see now we have split view. And the reason I said snap is that's basically Microsoft's term for this exact same thing. So here we have the split view and we can drag. And now we have the web browser on the left. We can drag to the right. And this is an early release version as well. It's not fully out, but we've got this desktop on either side. So if I swipe up, we get the same thing. And if you look at the top, it says Safari and App Store, Photos, Desktop 2, Desktop 1. So it split them, it realizes it split, and that's that. Now if I click this again, it will shrink it back. But it will leave Safari full screen. So if I go back to Safari, minimize it here, or not minimize it, but bring it out of full screen, it brings it back. And then we can swipe up, and there's Mission Control, and we have everything back. So it's a nice little feature if you like to work full screen. One of the features they've added is if you shake the mouse, the mouse gets bigger and it helps you locate it. That helps really on some very large displays. Real, real simple update, but something that might be useful for some. One of the things they've added that's more versatile now is Spotlight. So Spotlight, if you click Command Space, or you can click this little circle here. What you'll get is all your different weather, whatever. Uh, you can search for files here. They've just made it more versatile. So you could look for, for stocks and web video, uh, different documents. You could say documents I worked on last and it will pull that up. So that's pretty nice as well. Mail is another update. They've made it a little bit nicer. And thanks for subscribing. If you see here a little notification popped in. But mail is a little bit nicer. They've improved full screen support. Uh, they've also made it a little bit easier as far as gestures go. And you can see, I apparently I order from Papa John's a lot, but you can see there's quite a few things in here. Really nice. Uh, some deals, whatever. Uh, but they've added a bunch of different things in here, and it's really nice as well. So that can be helpful if you use mail. I know a lot of people use different clients as well, but you can use suggested events, add suggested contacts, and you can actually, if I want to click on this drag, you know, it's not working right now. Let me swipe it away. We can swipe it away. Let me get rid of this here. And if you use two fingers, you can swipe it like you can on your iPhone. So you can swipe left or right or left like this, and I'll swipe it off and click trash. It's more like your phone. So they're kind of melting the two together. Now, one big update that people may not think of as big, but it's pretty interesting that Apple has made such a big deal about the Notes app. So you can see here's the Notes app, and this is the newer version, but we have a bunch of different options now. So we can do a new note, and we'll say we're making a video, and that's fine. But what we can do is we can actually drag pictures in from the web. We can drag whatever we want in there. So here is a picture from... Uh, my car actually we can drag that in there making a video and that's nice we've got that so up here we've got a bunch of different options we've got checklists we can make you can see it says make a checklist 
choose a style to apply to text, add a photo or video. We also have here browse attachments that are attached to this particular note. So, or any note. So if you have a bunch of notes and you're looking for some photos and videos, sketches you've made, map locations, websites, audio documents, you can drag all of that into the notes app now, which is really nice. And there's some other apps that have done this, but it's, it's really nice that they've added this to it. For those of you that use the photo app, they've now added extensions so people can make extensions for them and they can tie right into other apps, which is really nice. One of the other things they've done with Safari actually is add some buttons, which I, I wasn't able to find. Let's go to the Apple website here. Within Safari, now we can do more things such as pin to Pinterest and Facebook and Twitter. There'll be little options up here and that'll be in the future, but uh, it allows you to do those sorts, sorts of things a little bit nicer. Now, a huge thing for me is, I don't see it working on this particular version, but one thing that's huge for me is you can mute all tabs. So maybe you have a tab in the background that's playing some music and you can't figure out what it is. Well, a little option will pop up here and you'll be able to mute the different tabs. It will show you with a little speaker here. It will show you all of them. And because I'm recording a mic to the, the, the Mac right now, it may not be showing it, but basically there's a little speaker that pops up right here. And with that little speaker, you can find out where the sound's coming from and mute all of them or mute some of them. They've also updated maps and the maps application now gives you transit information. So that's good. If you're in New York city or wherever you are, that might have a large transit system. You may be able to get scheduling and times based on that as well. So that should be really helpful. Now, one of the other big updates is metal. And this is under the, the hood basically that really should help push pixels to the metal as Apple puts it. Basically gives it a new graphics core technology and really allows things to run faster, up to 10 times faster in some cases. So that's pretty impressive. One of the other things they've done is made OS 10 a little bit faster overall. They've made it more efficient. And that's really what these other updates are, are about when I was telling you earlier with the different types of update leopard to snow leopard, etc. So this is Yosemite to El Capitan. Now there's a lot of little things here and there hidden, hidden under the hood and much, much more to come, I'm sure. So I'd really be interested to hear what you think about El Capitan. Obviously, it's not out yet. It's updated for developers and things like that. Uh, but it will be coming out in the fall, probably around September, October time frame. So I can't wait until it's out. But so far, it's running pretty well. And this whole recording is being done on the new MacBook 12 inch. So it's running pretty well, considering that we've got all these things open and we're doing a screen recording and the voice recording. It's handling it pretty well, just in case those of you wondered. So... Uh, that's pretty much it so far, but there'll be more to come when it comes out, and we'll do a, a little bit more in-depth look at it later on. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.